Hey everyone, it's Birdo. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, something's come up in my tank that I wanted to share with you. I want to uh, eradicate it. It's uh, I've got an outbreak of flatworms. Now I'm trying to show you on one of my hairy mushrooms, or both of my hairy mushrooms, the uh, degree that this parasite has uh, developed to. I know it's a shame on me because uh, I hadn't really noticed before, but you could even see on my LPS, my candy cane, that uh, they're just covered with them. So, this video we're going to hopefully eradicate them in a harmless way. Uh, as much as I hate to use chemicals, we're going to try a product from Salifert called Flatworm Exit. Here's the product from Salifert. It's a, there's a packaging rather. Uh, again, it's called Flatworm Exit. It's supposed to be uh, reef safe and uh, one packet treats up to 300 gallons. I'm just going to read you a little bit of the uh, literature that came with it. It says, um, when you use this product, it's important to do the following. Number one, siphon out as many flatworms as possible. Number two, keep sufficient fresh activated carbon in the canister ready. Three, turn off UV, ozone, and remove activated carbon, but keep the skimmer turned on. Now it says that the uh, small flatworms uh, can be toxic to some reef inhabitants when present in too high concentration. Obviously I have a, a very high concentration. Now this bodily fluid is sometimes excreted when flatworms die. So what they're saying is they may be more harmful dead than alive in mass quantities. So that's why they want you to keep the uh, skimmer going and canisters full of good, good quality uh, carbon as well as a uh, pre-mixed uh, container of uh, salt water for a water change in, in case you see bad things going on in your reef uh, with your other with your other inhabitants. Another takeaway from the uh, instruction sheet is uh, take sufficient time for treating the tank. This is, do, that is, do not treat your tank in a hurry. Also take time to monitor your tank for at least six hours after the treatment. And that goes right back to what I was saying in a, in a previous video about not getting in a hurry to, uh, to screw something up. Um, obviously this is something that needs to be dealt with, but you need to take the, the proper precautions and uh, steps before you jump into something. Now I'm going to try to siphon some of these guys out and uh, maybe you could actually see them moving around. So hang on for that. Okay, there's one on the glass. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Yeah, see? That's what they say to do. They say to uh, check them for movement and if indeed they move when you touch them with a turkey baster or straw or something, they're definitely alive and well and need to be taken out. So, I mean, I've got them all over the place, so. Okay, it was uh, apparent that I was doing more damage to the tissues of the coral by trying to siphon off the flatworms than uh, the flatworms are doing. So I'm going to go ahead and dose. Um, we're going to hold our breath and uh, I'm going to try this out. Okay now I just dosed two capfuls which would be enough for 150 gallons. With uh, my tank and the sump that should be just about right and I mean right away these guys are not happy. If you can see, they're starting to fall off and float around. The instructions did say do not underestimate 
how many flatworms you have. They hide in the rocks, they hide in the sand. What you're seeing is probably a small percentage of what you have. So that's not very good. Look at the, I don't know if you can see that, but the activity of these flatworms in my, one of my hairy mushrooms is just, they're going crazy. I mean, they are not liking it at all. They're just about all off of my candy cane. They are really on the move. Um, boy, what just looked like dots before have come to life as the true little demons that they really are. I mean, they are, they're not happy, happy, happy. So, we just dosed, I'm going to keep an eye on the time, and I mean, look at that. Yeah, they're pissed. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Here's my bucket that I was trying to siphon them out with. I didn't think I was very successful. I thought I was doing more damage to the soft tissues of the coral than anything else. I had no idea that I had gotten this many of them. But uh, I'm going to try a couple drops or a drop of the Salifert in here just to, uh, and like I say, kind of hack them off and see what happens. Don't know if you can see this or not, but I just added one drop and um, mixed it up a little bit and these guys are moving around like they want nothing more than to get out of this water it's amazing I mean it didn't take it didn't take 10 seconds and they are extremely unhappy so now I'm really kind of concerned about what's going to go on in the reef but hey gotta try some things right okay it's about an hour and a half into the treatment and um, I'm starting to notice uh, some sliming going on with my uh, corals that uh, is probably due to the die off of the uh, flatworms. Seeing a huge amount of flatworms floating around. I've kicked on the uh, uh, carbon reactors. You may wonder why I've got them inside the tank instead of outside and that's just because I had one that was leaking and uh, I didn't want to trust it on the outside. Didn't see any harm in putting it on the inside just for the day. Um, this, folks, I gotta tell you, this, this is incredible. It's like a reef horror scene. I mean, just to see these things floating around dead is absolutely amazing to see the, the amount of movement that's been going on with them is again amazing my uh so far by far my hairy mushrooms have uh been the hardest hit on the treatment but uh i just see you could just see little flatworms dead flatworms floating around the entire tank and when another when my pumps cycle and the other one kicks on uh, again, it's just, there they go, it's, it's amazing. This is an hour and a half in. And they're still crawling and they're still dying. Okay, I dosed at 10, it's now 2, it's 4 hours into it. Um, there's still some flatworms uh, stuck to the corals. I'm not seeing any life out of them. None of them are moving around. Uh, I had a whole bunch 
on the glass and I went to touch them and none of them moved so I just scraped them off and they just kind of floated away. Um, corals aren't looking very good right now, looking very stressed. My frog spawn is definitely not looking happy. A little concerned about it. Four hours in. Um, we'll see if it... Uh, the main lights are on now, as you can see, so... If things don't start picking up here pretty soon, I say within the next couple hours I'm going to give it a water change and see if that doesn't help. We'll see. Well, what a challenge this has been. Uh, as you can see, everything has picked up and gotten back to normal. And I did end up giving it a couple of water changes. Uh, as it was, I ended up treating with the salifert four different times. I guess the, uh, the flatworms lay eggs and they hatch and come about, but um, yeah, four times. But I got very comfortable using salifert. I knew that it wasn't going to hurt anything, so I was able to dose it with confidence. Uh, I do recommend it, but I recommend it with the knowledge that you're going to have to go a lot more than what they say. Of course, my outbreak too was beyond anything that should ever occur in anybody's tank. But anyway, my loss hopefully is your gain, so that's all I got for now. Until next time, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.